Welcome to the couch. <laughs> we're going to be reviewing Dark Side of the Moon Part 1, and we're going to be contrasting it to... Oh. Yeah, it's your favorite album. I know this of is your all, favorite. Yeah. Broken Side, BC-13. Pink Floyd is a well-known American artist. <laughs> yes, but you all should know that. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm assuming since you're tuning to the Music Neutral Opinionists that you know this. Well, let's uh, let's listen to Dark Side of the Moon. Let's give it a listen. All right. Okay. It's kind of like um, yeah, an intro yeah, to okay. their album. It's the Even though no, it's the third track. It's the Yeah, it's definitely the first track. Oh, okay. If you check the track listing. Sorry. I may be a bit under knowledge. Under oath. When it comes to, yeah. Also that. Take note how there hasn't actually been any music happening yet. This is true, it's but... It's just noise. Yeah, it's all building up. Oh, here we go. Music. Music. No interesting fact, it's actually in 4 4 time. Is it actually? Mm -hmm. Are you shitting me? Yeah. <laughs> so, guitar solo out of nowhere. Interesting really? songwriting no. choice. It's not a solo because there's other music around it. <laughs> a solo is just one By instrument. By definition. A solo is one instrument playing all on its own and everything else quiet. Okay. What's the point of music if they don't tell you how to feel? <laughs> oh, there we go. But what I don't get is, how are you supposed to know what the song's about if the vocals are never happening? See if he says the word time, and then we can know what it's about. Yeah, I think he just said it. Death. 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 That's pretty it's metal. metal. That is that metal. That is metal, which is something I personally hate. This is metalcore. This is... Cash. No, money. Ding. Okay. Cash register. Best musician instrument. The cash register. And the coin. And the... Really, no. The coin is like the guitar pick of the cash register. Okay, fair enough. Say something bad about this. Yeah, Can that's. I, I was just you. thinking. Yeah. Mother effer. Just the. P <laughs> if you're gonna write a song, the structure should probably be coherent. That thing's happening in place of the second verse, which guys, structure. If you guys want to get big, just this is. As advice to this to band Pink starting Floyd. out, to, to Pink, Pink Floyd, Floyd, if you want to make it big, you can't go all weird with these abstract concepts for structures, verses, that sort of thing. So what you're saying you is... Probably just stick with your traditional verse-chorus, verse-chorus-bridge thing. Concept albums, as a concept, trash idea. Trash. Just Garbage. release... Just, the CD okay. should just be singles. So yeah. I only listen to the singles. When you run out of singles, you just make individual songs, but they're garbage. That constitutes yeah. an album. Damn, this is a really long song. I'm kind of bored by it now. <laughs> now, do you want to go to your next album? All right. Holy crap, a bass. All right, so right off the bat, really good bass presence. Like, deafeningly good. Loud is always good. These bitches are tipsy trying to sex me. I you know really they like want it. it. Alcoholics you are some sex freaks. So, catchy chorus. Something that Pink Side of the Dark Floyd did not incorporate was a chorus that just gets drilled into you, and it's it's called a hook for a reason. It's catchy. But that was Freaks with three X's. By Broken... By Broken Side. No, that was Broken Side by Freaks. Okay. Oh. Actual lyrics, you make my peepee hard. When you buy a synthesizer, it comes with preset sounds. A lot of people yeah. have the integrity to create their own so that they're, they don't sound like another artist. Everything on this album just outright defaults. Out of the box. Out of the box. They so just... it's out of the box thinking exactly. that made them create a great album. The song's called Schizo, short for schizophrenia. Five, six, suck on my dick, broken side will never die. But they said... Hey, they haven't. It's 2012 and they're still touring. When I say the word pioneers, I don't use that term lightly. What they did is they combined the screamos, some people think it's screamo, screamos, with, with rap hip hop. And they just combined those two genres, creating an entirely new one, deemed somewhat unofficially as crunkcore, in which they are realistically the only artist in that genre. 
which oh. is incredible. It's just who else has done that? Nobody else has done that. Forty minutes to record. The machine is off. Oh no, space on the memory card. Oh shit! As of when? Oh, but we could switch dynamic camera angles. Class act. N word right out of the gate. Which N word? Oh. Also, track name, Bree Bree. Already said it once. Screaming over rap. BC Scrap. Name of the album. Scrap. Bree Bree again. What does BC 13 mean? Broken side something. 13. Produced in 2013. Don't kill, don't kill this pig. Oh, they're referencing the pig. Pink Floyd's that pig. They ripped off. From Pink Floyd. I wouldn't say rip off so much as pay homage to. Or we're done. Oh, okay. So that was the whole. All right. Pause that. Yeah. Let's uh, bring up the albums. All right. Duke it out. See which one is the music neutral, most neutral music. <laughs> Milk Hotel. I'm not even going to say words. This is what I think. Rawr, I'm going to eat you, album. Winner, in my opinion, Pink Floyd. <laughs> so winner, Pink Floyd for Dark of the Moon. What's your decision? Here, you can well, take this. Be... You can take yeah, that back. Well, it's pretty obvious that this. I mean, I just I like how concise their song Hold structures are. I like I how they can see. I just like how they fuse genres. They just took two genres that are really dissimilar and they fuse them, in my opinion, perfectly. And very concise, catchy songwriting. My opinion on both albums, neutral. They're both music. Have to agree. They are both music. Every woodwind instrument is a tuba. <laughs> 